With the advent of the artificial intelligence era, computing power has become a new favorite in the field of technology, and Huawei's AI computing power pedestal is emerging. As a global leader in the chip field, NVIDIA's monopoly position has led to soaring profits. However, Huawei has stepped forward to challenge the situation, injecting new vitality into the rise of China's technology. In this battle of technology and ecology, how will Huawei disrupt the existing landscape? Can domestic computing power replace the position of foreign chips? How will the future of China's artificial intelligence ecology develop? All of this will be revealed in the battle between Huawei and NVIDIA. Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. Through today's video, I am delighted to exchange and discuss the following topics with the audience. 1. What key challenges does Huawei's AI computing power pedestal face in challenging NVIDIA's monopoly position? 2. How has the development of China's artificial intelligence ecology been influenced? How will Huawei's participation change this landscape? 3. Beijing University's choice to support Huawei's computing power pedestal, what profound significance does it have for China's technology industry? More and more friends are supporting Huawei, including Peking University. Huawei released its AI computing power pedestal last year, with its main competitor being NVIDIA from the United States, a global top three company whose market value far exceeds TSMC and Qualcomm. In the AI era, NVIDIA leads the chip industry, and its high market value stems from its profitability in the field of AI computing power pedestals. Global technology companies generally develop artificial intelligence relying on AI computing power. NVIDIA holds over 90% market share in this field, forming a monopoly. Its Newbie 200 AI chip costs $6,000 in sales for $40,000 with a profit margin of up to 85% and a minimum purchase requirement of 100 chips. Despite the high prices, due to the software and hardware ecosystem NVIDIA has long established, similar to Apple's iOS, customers find it difficult to break away and have to accept its high-priced products. With the process of globalization, the boundaries between technology and trade are becoming increasingly blurred, but new challenges also arise. In the field of technology, especially in the strategic highlands of artificial intelligence, the United States has long held a leadership position, while other countries often face technological barriers and market access restrictions. However, in this environment, Chinese companies have not succumbed to pressure but actively seek independent innovation and breakthroughs, with Huawei being the most typical representative. As one of China's technology giants, Huawei deeply understands that in the era of artificial intelligence, computing power is an important indicator of a country's technological strength. Therefore, Huawei not only stands up but also demonstrates its determination to build an autonomous and controllable artificial intelligence ecosystem through action. They have promoted progress in China's AI field from the bottom up by independently developing high-performance chips and releasing the Ascend 910 a groundbreaking AI processor. In addition, Huawei has also introduced the Ocean's Tor A800, a high-performance storage system designed for AI data, and the Cloud Engine XH16800, the industry's first high-capacity AI intelligence switch. The emergence of these products has not only won international attention for Huawei, but also added luster to China's high-tech industry's overall strength. Huawei is not satisfied with only providing services to large enterprises, they also focus on the needs of small and medium-sized enterprises, launching the AI Hyperconverged Integrated Machine FUSA on Cube A3000 to help small and medium-sized enterprises solve the challenges of data center management and maintenance, thereby promoting the intelligent upgrade of the entire industry. More importantly, Huawei also realizes that to build a complete artificial intelligence ecosystem, hardware alone is not enough, software is equally important. Therefore, Huawei has begun to cooperate with several domestically sanctioned companies to jointly develop software solutions adapted to its own hardware. 
After experiencing Huawei's computing power, Liu Junfeng, the boss of iFlyTech, excitedly stated that they have finally solved the long-standing computing power bottleneck problem that has plagued enterprises. This is not only a recognition of Huawei's work, but also an affirmation of China's breakthroughs in core technology. Although Huawei's efforts may not be known to most people, they are the best proof of the country's growing strength in silence. In today's increasingly fierce global technological competition, Huawei is leading China towards a new era of greater confidence, self-reliance, and self-improvement. By uniting with domestic and foreign partners to face challenges together, Huawei is not only working for its own development but also for China's tomorrow, making greater contributions to global technological progress. Yesterday, an exciting news came from Peking University. The university's highly anticipated research project OpenSara announced a deep integration with Huawei. The OpenSara project has successfully integrated Huawei's advanced computing power platform, especially the remarkable domestic AI chip Huawei Ascend 910. This move undoubtedly signifies the strong cooperation between two heavyweight players in the technology industry, promoting the progress and independent innovation of China in the field of artificial intelligence. The update of OpenSara is not only a milestone in technology but also its timing is significant. Just two months ago, the United States disclosed its own SARA project, which attracted widespread attention at the time. However, despite the time that has passed, the US SARA has not yet officially debuted, while China's open SARA has already taken a decisive step forward. In this rapidly developing high-tech competition, the successful release of open SARA is undoubtedly a huge achievement in algorithm development, and it also demonstrates the strong international competitiveness and substitution capability of Huawei and its Ascend 910 AI chip. In conclusion, I summarize today's video and hope it provides some inspiration and value to you. This breakthrough is not only a leap in technology but also a manifestation of national strength. Obviously, after seeing the rapid development of China's domestic computing power, practitioners and decision-makers in related fields in the United States may have complex expressions. The achievement of the Open SARA project not only earned Huawei prestige on the international stage but also added new evidence to China's influence in the global artificial intelligence field. Looking ahead, we have reason to believe that more and more domestic software will join the ranks of supporting domestic hardware, establishing an independent and sound Chinese artificial intelligence ecosystem. This not only reduces reliance on external technology but also enhances China's discourse power and influence in the era of globalization. For ordinary people like us, embracing and supporting domestic artificial intelligence products is not only recognition of domestic technological innovation but also an investment in the future development potential of the country. Today, with the maturity of domestic AI technology and the continuous expansion of its application scope, we should use these products with more confidence, enjoy the convenience and efficiency they bring, and contribute our strength to the country's technological progress. After all, in this era of fierce global competition, behind every technological innovation, there is the understanding, support, and participation of every citizen. Huawei's breakthrough in AI computing power pedestal is undoubtedly a strong proof of its technical strength. Huawei has not only demonstrated strong capabilities in chip design but also showcased its profound technical accumulation in algorithm optimization, system design, and other aspects. This comprehensive and multidimensional technological breakthrough has equipped Huawei with sufficient strength to compete with NVIDIA. CH Alenging NVIDIA is not an easy task. NVIDIA's position in the global AI chip market is unshakable, with its products highly praised for performance, stability, compatibility, and other aspects. For Huawei to challenge NVIDIA, it must reach or even surpass NVIDIA's level in these aspects. In addition, Huawei also faces challenges in terms of NVIDIA's brand influence, market share, and customer base. Despite the numerous challenges, Huawei has not retreated. 
On the contrary, with its perseverance, Huawei continues to innovate and strive to improve its technology and products. This spirit of Huawei is the best embodiment of the new vitality of China's technological rise. Peking University's support for Huawei's computing power pedestal has injected new vitality into the development of China's artificial intelligence ecology. As one of China's top universities, Peking University has profound accumulation in artificial intelligence research. Its support for Huawei will undoubtedly provide strong technical support for Huawei and contribute to Huawei's deep development in the field of AI computing power. Huawei's challenge to NVIDIA with its AI computing power pedestal is not only a challenge for Huawei itself, but also a challenge for China's technology industry. The success or failure of this challenge will directly affect the development of China's artificial intelligence ecology and the global AI chip market pattern. Therefore, we look forward to Huawei successfully challenging NVIDIA, injecting new vitality into the rise of China's technology industry. In the future, we believe that with the continuous rise of domestic enterprises such as Huawei, China's technology industry will demonstrate stronger competitiveness globally, making greater contributions to the development of the global technology industry. We look forward to the arrival of this day and the glorious future of China's technology industry. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. That's all for today's video, see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.